All right, Seth, new video. You ready? Who are we doing this time? Sam Sulik. Let's go. All right. So Sam Sulik, or Selik, or Silik, or how do you pronounce his name? Sulik? Sulik. Sulik. I have no that's idea. how, at least that's how I'm pronouncing his name. Um, seems like a good kid, but I'm guessing that you chose this uh, person as uh, the most controversial thing on the internet right now. People are going to eat it up. I, th I mean, dude, he, he seems like a great kid. I, I like him. I watched one of his first videos um, for the first time last week, and um, I've seen a ton of fucking reaction videos from people about his shitty diet, he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing how with his training, um, he's killing himself because of the steroids. Like, there's a fucking video about this dude left and right, so I'm going to join the club there. But uh, out of the gate, everybody, I mean... These videos grab traction. It's fun. It's, I look at these things as a, as a way just to talk about a subject or a person and what they're doing and give my two cents. It's not to shit talk. I mean, the Natty or Not videos did well, huh? Very well. Very well. Went over uh, Mike O'Hearn fucking. <laughs> oh, I love it. Like I said, if you don't know who Sam Sulik is, uh, all you have to do is type his name into any social media platform and you'll be like, holy fuck, who is he? What the fuck? You know his face. For sure you've seen him on uh, all the meme pages on the Meathead meme pages, YouTube, he's everywhere. TikTok. Um, he's TikTok. I, I'm, I'm not on TikTok a lot, um, but he's 21 years old, correct? 21. He's 21 years old. He's very young. His mind is not even fully developed. He's 21 years old. Uh, but I guess we're going to dive into it here. For me, Sam Sulik is 21 years old. He is still a child. He is... I am 38 years old. I am 17 years older, about to be 18 years older than this young man. I've been training my fucking ass off almost as long as this dude has been alive. So, um, my point with that being is, when I was 21 years old, I was an absolute fucking psychopath. I was crazy. I did not have my shit together. This young man is not supposed to have his shit together. He's 21 years old. He's enjoying life. He's living. And after watching one of his, uh, one of his videos, I don't... Sam is just a, a young dude that's kind of documenting his life like a diary style. It's not so much like um, I'm filming this... He, I don't think he started filming this for, like, views and, like, to become uber famous and to have all the glitz and the glam like dude sam's a fucking meathead through and through that's what i love about the kid he's just like he wears the same shitty hat doesn't give a fuck what pants he has on he likes specific things and he loves training he loves the feeling of the gym the pump the vibe the 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 whole building your own physique and and reaping all the fucking benefits of all the hard work that you put into the gym whether you're fucking natty or not or whatever the fuck you want to say he's documenting it all in a diary style like whenever I, the video i watched of him he's going to train triceps and he was talking about how uh how he was setting up his 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 workout and why he was going to choose these workout these exercises to start with rather than these and i'm like this dude's just like verbalizing he's thinking out loud that's what we all do <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just along the same lines of being like, whenever I'm going in to think about a workout or I'm writing it all down or going through it, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to put this here because of this. I don't put it at the end because of this. I like putting it at the beginning because of this. Like, the dude's just, he's just thinking out loud. And, I mean, he's a super likable guy, but he's 21 years old. Now, I'm guessing that you probably have some ammunition prepared about how dumb his diet is or something. The diet, the diet's crazy. <laughs> okay. Because I saw the reaction videos of people saying, he's gonna kill himself. His diet sucks. Now, again, you're 21. He's 21. Dude, when I was 21 years old, my illustrious past of steroids, drugs, women, partying, I made this dude look like a fucking saint. You did not want to take me home to mom or grandma when I was 21, 22 years old. You did not want to do that. I was really into fucking drugs, partying, geared out of my mind, fucking drinking and blowing lines on a fucking Thursday and Friday night, and then in the gym squatting on fucking Monday. Like, 
I was just fucked up and crazy. I was young. You should not have been taking advice from me. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take advice from Sam, but uh, I would be very hesitant to do so because when you're young, you're dumb. That's how you become old and wise. Ten years from now, Sam will be a much more developed, if he stays on this path, a much more developed, mature young man that has his head on straight and realize, you know, I remember when I was, you know, when I was 21 and I did all that crazy fucked up shit. I probably shouldn't have did it, but it kind of molded me into who I am. There was no fucking cameras on me back then. I saw the videos about his diet of him drinking chocolate milk and whole milk and a whole box of cereal on his bulk and his spring bulks. Um, I don't even know like what type of protein he was ingesting, but just alone, that alone having a box of cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, a day, I would say is not the best thing to do, but he's 21. My advice to young men that are trying to gain weight, like if you were like, Seth, I'm a hard gainer. The fucking dude was a swimmer. So for him to get to this size, he had to put in some fucking work and some food and some, and some extras. Whenever people ask me, young men that are like 16 to 18 to 20 years old, 22 years old, like they're trying to put on weight and they're a hard gainer and they, they're not able to put on that mass and they're not taking anything, I immediately go to food. Or if they are taking something, I immediately go to food. What are you eating? Where are you at? And I run through their diet. And if, say they have a sound diet where they're still getting in like that 200 and, 210, 220 grams of protein, and they still look like they do. And I'm like, you look like you do because of what you're doing, because of what you're eating. Therefore, if you want to get bigger, you have to eat more. And they're like, I don't know, like I just can't stomach another fucking meal of chicken and rice. And I'm like, well, you, you, you need the extras. If you're relatively lean, you need the extras. And I'm like, peanut butter and jellies. You motherfuckers have heard me say that forever. Peanut butter and jellies, let's go. That way they're easy to ingest and they're higher calories. So you're able to get your calories up, your strength will go up, and if you're in that 16, 18, 20 years old, your testosterone levels are already pretty fucking high, so you should be utilizing that to grow. Otherwise, you're gonna stay where you are. <clears throat> you can't just keep eating red meat and, and be like, oh, I love it, because you're young. You're still developing, you're still learning about that process, because if I just say stay on a strict bodybuilder diet like that, it might deter you away from progressing in this sport because this is a very, very strong mental sport. Most of the people can't last in the sport because of the mentality that needs to be developed for the longevity of a career. Because you go from bulks, you go to cuts, you go to competing. There's so many things, so many aspects of, from a mental standpoint of the gym, the diet, and then your personal life and work, ton goes into it. So that's why I'm like, to stay involved, it's good to throw some shit in there. Now I don't say like, Milkshakes, I say things that are relatively beneficial, like peanut butter and jellies, or adding milk into your diet, like with your protein shakes, to up those calories another two, three, four hundred calories a day. Now, is that what he's doing? Is that is that is that? So, I mean, I have the whole entire day eating if you want to okay. run through it. Let's let's run. It, okay. Was it like one of his uh, spring bulks? Oh no, it was the full day of eating they made. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. What do we got? So start off the day, uh -huh. they're grocery shopping, quart of chocolate milk right there. So that's considerably breakfast, just a quart of chocolate milk. And then pre-workout meal, four cups of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It was all weighed out. Okay. Equal one to one with four cups. He of doesn't milk. weigh it out by the way, there's no way. Just here. in the video probably. Yeah, for the, yeah, for the he no. fucking like, dumps oh, that yeah, shit yeah, in there. Yeah, fuck yeah. Full box. Four cups of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, uh -huh. one to one with four cups of whole milk. Oh, four cups that's of whole milk. That's pre-workout. Man. Oh my God, I'm going to shit myself. Man, he's got a belly of steel. I don't know how that digests. Mm -mm. <laughs> and Not then this guy. Intra, 50 grams of carb powder. Okay. Post, 100 grams of carb powder, this time with two scoops of whey. But yeah. that's on the way to the post-workout meal. Nice. So that's like nice. pre-post-workout meal. I like it. I like it. Post-workout meal. Five Guys cheeseburger and a medium fry. Oh my God. Right after consuming all that shit. Uh -huh. Get home, uh -huh. sit around for a little, do whatever yeah. the fuck. Yeah. Four Krispy Kreme glazed donuts mm. and two more cups of whole milk. Holy And that's fuck. the day. That's all he eats? That's the day. Now in the grocery shopping, he like grabbed like 80-20 beef. 
Okay. And some other shit, like some rice and stuff, like mm. Uncle Ben's packs and stuff like that. But he said no chicken breast. He's not doing chicken. I think he said just beef, whey, and I mean, when he goes to drink those big gallons of milk, it's like, oh, this has 200 grams of protein in the whole thing. Like, exactly. that's his mindset. Again, he's young. Right. And it's working for him. In all of these videos I've said, in all, most of my videos, all of them, nobody's the fucking same. Everybody's not created equal. Like, what works for you might not work for me. If There's no way I could even stomach that. My belly, I can't fuck with milk. I, I He's got to eat more than that. That's all he ate. I would expect yeah. more. I'd expect more food. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of um, like the milk. It works, but it's working Calorie for him. Shit. Yeah, like I'm thinking like where's his eggs at? You yeah. know what I mean? Where's the where's the Healthy like I'm thinking food. like where's a fucking two thousand calorie morning burrito, motherfucker? Right. But he is a lean. He's lean, but he was a swimmer. So I mean, I don't know how much shit he's running either. But I mean. <laughs> I can see where people's mangling him. You know what I mean? I can see where... It's exotic. Uh, it, it is. I can see where people are like, you're a fucking idiot. You know what I mean? Because he's not... Because um, there's going to be kids that watch that video and think they can replicate that and do just what he's doing. Yeah, and, and I mean, again, this is that thing where I kind of enjoy this because go ahead, do something stupid, kid. Like, go ahead. you got to learn some way. Like, motherfucker, you can't... If you told... It's hard to tell me what to do. I don't take take well to those types of things. Um, however, like, I was always willing to take advice from, like, more knowledgeable bodybuilders. You know what I mean? Like, when I was growing up, um, and, and especially whenever I had Hani, like, I was able to shoot ideas, and he would just be like, no, that's fucking stupid, kid. Do this and this. I'm like, you got it, brother. And it's like, so, I think he's just learning as he goes, and for him, he's, he's doing his thing. It's working for him. Do I think that in the next year, things will change? Yes. 100%. Do I think it'll be because of an outside influence of like people online or me making a video or anybody being like, Sam, you're a fucking moron. No, I think it's going to be him developing and learning himself. Because from what it looks like, he doesn't really give a fuck about the negativity. He loves the gym. And that's kind of what this guy's making bodybuilding fun for the young community. Like there's been so many young guys that are like fucking handsome as all hell, six foot three and just beautiful. And here's this dude being like, so yeah, kind of stink today. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. I'm like, yes. He's bringing back like that dirty bulk and just fucking eating food and training. Well, I mean, like, that's all I grew up on. Like I would always, again, like dude, when, in college, like once I did get my shit together and stopped doing drugs and had my kid and I was still in college when I had a kid and I was like, fuck. And the way I would still pursue that is through a cheap way of eating. You know what I mean? I was buying Walmart beef. I was buying fucking... You know, any, anything that I ate was fucking calorie packed because I knew I had to get the most out of as much as I could. So, I mean, dude, when you're young, you gotta learn. Like, I mean, young and dumb is a thing. I, I just, and people are like, but he needs to understand the importance of his influence on the young community. Jesus, fuck, dude. No, he doesn't, he's 21. He's having fun. He's living his life. It just so happens he has a platform that he can put out there. It's like, if you're fucking dumb enough to do some of the dumb shit that I've done or he does or the f fucking thousand other bodybuilders out there that are doing it, then fuck you. You're dumb enough to do it. Don't give me shit because you're making a choice for yourself. It's kind of that whole thing that goes back to the steroids, drugs, and life thing. Like, steroids, drugs, and life. Like, it's your decision. It's a personal decision. Everything that you do is on you. Just because I say you should eat three in a draw day before leg day doesn't mean it's a fucking good idea, even if it worked. Because now I'm paying for that shit. Eventually, he might pay for it. But who gives a flying fuck? It's his life. I mean, I can't remember. Somebody told me a bodybuilder said that he was like a fucking asshole and dumb and all this. And I'm like, well, he's, he's 21. What were you doing at 21? You know what I mean? Like... He's having fun. I hope that he's making a buttload of money. I hope that he's, I hope that he's able to stay like up and nothing fucking gets in his head mentally. Um, but I don't know. I've enjoyed it. I think, I think he's an alright guy. Yeah, just look at it as entertainment. Just watch the video and. Laugh. But but again, you know, this video is probably going to get traction just simply because you know. What it is. It is what it is. But that was the whole natty or not, and that's the way things are. But I enjoy it because, in anything, that is going on, on the internet videos, 
you need to be able to find the good in it. Anything you do in life, you need to be able to find the good in something. We as a society have gone so far where if we don't like someone 100%, all of a sudden we don't fucking like them at all. It's like just because they put their pants on this way, I can't talk to him anymore, he's an idiot. And it goes to some of the things that people make videos about on, on these. It's like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like just because someone does something or says something, fuck that person, they're not cool. My like, God damn guys, it's okay. You can get along even if you don't agree on something 100%. And in life, whenever you make a mistake, you can learn from it. I've made tons of mistakes. I've said things that I regret saying. I wish I never did say, but I said them. I've done them. I have to live with them. And I have to be man enough to step up whenever I fuck up, make a mistake, say something wrong, anything like that. that that's how life goes. I think that the things on the internet like this, the people that hate on this young kid just because of the crazy fucking massive influence that he's having, fuck him. You know what I mean? You know, I, 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 hope that, I hope that he doesn't get caught up mentally in this crazy fucking high trajectory of, of, of stardom and then there's this crazy cliff that happens or something wild or anything like that because that can be devastating to somebody. I, uh, I think that this industry can fucking chew you up and spit you out. I've been in it for Turned pro in 09, so I've been around for a while, and uh, I'm proud of the things I have, and I think that a lot of other people in the industry should be proud of what they have. If it is bigger than mine, if it is not as big as mine, if it isn't as successful or is more successful, it's yours, you know, and you should take pride in that. But as for Sam, I mean, I don't have time to watch everything. <laughs> single one of his videos. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> There's a lot. But uh, use this, I think it's great that people are using it as entertainment. He seems like a good kid. Um, and I guess we're just going to watch and see where it all goes. I don't think that, I don't think he's a bad kid. No, it doesn't seem that he stays in his own lane, does his own thing. Yeah. I think people will freak out if he ever cuts his hair. Um, it's but as for, it's part of the character. Yeah. <laughs> as, for his, as for his acne and his health, I mean... Fuck you guys. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. Doesn't bother him. My thing is, is I did the same shit. I was crazy too. You know how many people were like, Seth, you shouldn't, you shouldn't eat that many Anadrol. I'm like, yeah, I know, but I like it. Seth, you shouldn't do trend. Yeah, I know, but I like it. I am where I am in life because of the things that I've done. And I think it goes for a lot of us. Like, how is anybody able to talk shit whenever they're doing some of the same stuff? And all the people that are like, He's not natural. Well, fuck you, dude. Who cares if he's not natural? Like, there wouldn't be a fucking sport if it was all natural. There wouldn't be a sport. Nobody go to a bodybuilding show. It's like all these fucking people that, that talk all this shit on people that take stuff, but then they've been massive Jay Cutler fans since the late 90s and tell fucking stories on how they met Jay Cutler in 2003 and waited in a line and he was so nice and kind. And I'm like... Didn't you just get done talking shit on people who take gear and you got fucking Jay Cutler, who's one of the craziest motherfuckers <laughs> that has ever graced the sport? Makes no fucking sense. So, I don't know. That's just the internet and society today. Uh, the, the other thing that I did hear, um, I heard he hates the Mike Menser style of training. Is that a thing? I, I heard that in I heard that in one of the fucking videos or I saw it I somewhere. I mean, so his thing's ego lifting, like that's his brand. Oh, get promoting the promoting like ego lifting as kind oh, of like a joke. No, like super edgy kind of like yeah, ego lifting. Oh, is it a joke or is I, it's it real? like he jokes about it, but he's dead serious almost. Like he does like heavy ass weight on everything, just like whipping it around. Is it volume training? Twelve to fifteen. Failing. Oh, okay, so he's so he's doing volume training because what I whatever. I don't know, when I, I saw the thing where he said he hates, the, he, he doesn't like the style of Mike Menser's training, and I'm like, I kind of agree, like, Mike Menser's style of training, it works, that obviously, like, that hit, however, like, I, I would prefer a modified hit because I love volume, I'm a volume guy, volume built my physique with some intense, heavier weights at times, but volume built my physique, I loved it, and, I mean, the whole ego lifting I don't even know what the fucking definition of it is today because it might be a different definition from these young kids. Like, ego lifting, like, motherfucker, you better be moving some weight. 
you still better be moving some weight. I would equate ego lifting in as every time you go into the gym, every time you go into the gym, you're like fucking one or two rep maxing something. That and like, is the set you're doing with the weight as efficient as it could be if you maybe took a plate off? Sure. I mean, I like the, the, whole, the whole concept of that. I don't mind like pushing the limits every single workout, but like I always push the limits at that like five to six to seven rep range with like incline dumbbell right. presses. Like a compound. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like I always started all my work, all my, I mean, I built up into that. I did like four or five sets leading into that. And then the last set, I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's throw the 160s on on incline dumbbell presses and throw 160s around for as many as I can get. And that might be four, might be six. I do that every single workout. So, I mean, I don't know if you, is that ego lifting? Cause I'll do the same shit. Like I'll go in there and like, I want to hit, like sometimes I feel like going heavy. I'll do like, if I'm more in a powerlifting mindset, I want to go four reps. Or if I just want to do low bodybuilding, like six reps, I want to do a heavy set. Just because I'm doing a heavy set, that doesn't mean I'm ego lifting. No, that's what I mean. Like, is there, is there, do you think there's some confusion? Because this is a, a very young generation yeah, that we're talking about. Yeah, I think it's a topic about. that's not, like, touched on that much. Yeah, it's not discussed. I don't, I don't know if there's a, the definition of ego lifting, because if that's ego lifting, then I'm an ego lifter. I think lifter. when people see someone doing crazy, exotic shit like that in the gym, they just automatically want to hate on it and make something up for it, like a term. Yeah, I, I, that's kind of what I was getting at. Do you think that he got that term because he's like, fuck yeah, because, dude, wherever you go to the gym, that's exactly what the fuck you want to do. So, like, he lifts intuitively. The thing on, the, like, the talks on the way to the gym, like, oh, I'm going to do this if I feel like this. When I get to this, I might change this. It's, uh, not, yeah, like, so it's not, like, set program. So he's, like, so you mean to tell me this dude's, like, he does, like, uh, he does instinctive training? Essentially. I love that. Yeah. Fuck, me and this guy getting along more and more as the fucking day goes on. I'm, like, learning about this guy now. Because, I mean, I think... <laughs> I think if you're an experienced lifter, if you've been doing this for a while, and I mean like five, six years, you'll be able to know like mid-workout if this exercise is the exercise you should be doing. Or if it's going to be detrimental. Or if it's detrimental. Or like why would I expend all kind of energy on an exercise that I'm not feeling? Like because if you're taking fucking gear and you got all the food and the right supplements going on in your fucking and body. Sleep. You're in sleep and you're going to feel, you should be able to feel if that exercise is doing its fucking job yep. as an experienced weightlifter. I mean, everybody does things different. If we all, if everything worked exactly the fucking same for everybody, we'd all look the fucking same. That's what makes bodybuilding so much fun is to be able to look at Seth's arm workout, Fuad's fucking leg training, uh, Branch Warren's back training and be able to play like, okay, so I'm going to kind of incorporate like these different fucking training styles or, or methodologies into my workouts and see if they work. Like that's part of the fun. It's all part of the fun. Watch all the knowledge you can and take everything with a fucking grain of salt. But yeah, and you should be, that's what makes training fun is you should be able to go to the gym and like apply things that you learn to be like, dude, that thing Seth said really worked. Yep. Hey man, that thing Seth said didn't fucking work for me, bud. It's not that Seth's stupid because it's obviously fucking working for him. However, it might have not worked for me. Like, look at Regan Grimes. Like, Regan Grimes with them fucking upright row side things. Like, the dude's fucking delts are nasty. My delts were pretty fucking nasty. Are we doing them the same way? Fuck no. He says his delts are that big because of that exercise. I say my delts are that big, round, and 3D because of this way. Okay, cool. So maybe you should try both and see what one works better for you. Trial and error. That's a pretty fucking simple mindset rather than just bash the other loving fuck out of somebody for looking like a retard whenever they're doing something. See, it goes back to that fucking weird societal thing going on. Like if you're not bashing somebody, it's like you don't feel, you, you're not building yourself up or some way. Like tearing people down so you can get higher. No, fuck all yeah. This guy, I mean, Sam's young. He's young. I, I will say this. Anybody that is a young man like Sam, whenever I was 21 years old, I, I had a good grasp on, on training. I fucking loved it. My diet was not that great. Sounds very similar. He looks like, he's, his, he, looks like he trains hard. Um, his diet, <laughs> it didn't sound too good, but it's working for him. Uh, a lot of people that I think that would eat that diet, I don't think you would look that great Fuck on that diet. No. I think you would kind of go on the little chunkier Funky, side. Yep. Yeah. And I would do the same. 
Um, so, I mean, I think those are just things to keep in mind when you're doing this. Like, dude trains hard. I mean, he's doing, he's got full range of motion on these flies here. It's just like, it, you're young. If you're a young man having fun, enjoying the gym, keep enjoying it. Keep learning. Watch old school videos of mine. Watch old school videos from John Meadows. Watch old school videos from Fuad. Watch old school videos from experienced people who fucking train hard. Go watch Blood and Guts by Dorian Yates. Go find that motherfucker on the internet. Watch that video. Branch Warren, every, fucking Branch Warren's complete psychopath trains like an asshole. One of the most conditioned fucking peeled bodybuilders in the history of bodybuilding. It worked for him. There's more than one way to skin a cat, everybody. And this young guy, I don't know, I'm excited to keep watching him. It's cool. I just hope he continues to do a good job, enjoys his life, and doesn't do anything too stupid. Don't do drugs. Don't drink and drive. Wrap it up. Unless you want a kid. If you want a kid, don't wrap it up. Pulling and praying is not the way to go, young guys. Uh, and if you are on gear, you can still get a girl pregnant. Don't let nobody fucking say that either. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. You got to remember, with anything that you see on the internet, you got to be able to absorb it, process it, and then apply it. And if all, and if the application, if the, if you go and absorb the information and then apply it and it doesn't work out for you, then it didn't work for you. If, and you got to keep trying. And then if you, uh, go and absorb the information and apply it and it works, fucking A, good job. Keep absorbing, keep working. It's all part of life, you know? Win or lose today, you still gotta wake up and go to work tomorrow. So, Sam, keep doing a good job, brother. Have fun. Don't listen to all the noise. You'll learn. You're young. Experience it. And just keep having fun, dude. And the same goes for all of you. Just keep working, dude. Have fun. Don't do dumb shit. And even if you do dumb shit, it's okay. Still wake up and go to work the next morning. Other than that, you know the drill. Slap the old lady on the ass, let her know you love her. Keep doing a good job. Work hard, motherfuckers.